So, um, so many people so freaking upset that Trump's bringing our huge army of 2,000 Marines. 2,000 Marines. It's a few um, howitzer fire bases. I think they got the 155 Mike, Mike howitzers over there or something. And, and some forward observers and then security, stuff like that. Not a huge expeditionary force. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, people are acting like the freaking world's coming to an end. So I'd like to hear from any of you people who may think that, oh, Trump shouldn't pull these, this huge force back home. I'd like to hear why. What What's the end game? You know, are we going to stay there? I've heard some people, we need to stay until a lasting peace has been established. There probably hasn't been peace in that area since there were Neanderthals, you know. Um, it, it ain't happening, you know. It's not happening. And uh, it's, um, they accomplished their mission. They went to get ISIS out of Iraq and get ISIS knocked back. Well, fine. ISIS is out of Iraq and they're knocked back. The borders are back where they were. Time to come home, boys. Um, you know, as Trump said, let the Russians fight them. Let the Syrians fight them. It's their problem. It is. It's their problem. We, the part we're covering, Iraq, done. If we need to go back for some reason, we can de redeploy quickly. We have the ability to project power anywhere in the world. Um, by sitting there, we're just making enemies. We're not making any friends. You know, nobody's going to love us. <laughs> So I, I just, I don't understand. I'd like to know what the end game is of the Hawks who want to want to keep our guys over there after, because to me, the objective's just accomplished. And, you know, what is, what is the end game? When do we come home? That's, that's all I want to know, because uh, personally, I can't think of a better time to get out than now. Um, you know, people talk about, oh, we're leaving the Kurds unprotected. You can't solve the Kurdish issue. Kurdistan was part of Iran, part of Iraq, part of Syria, and part of Turkey. <laughs> you know, you without going to war with all four countries, uh, um, you can't solve the Kurdish issue. The Kurdish issue will never be solved. The Kurds, frankly, need to assimilate or start getting along. It's not going to happen. Kurdistan's not going to happen. Um, and certainly not by our hand. So, sorry, but it's been a long time, and that's the way it is. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about the Kurds, but it's reality. That's the way it is. So, um, anyway, I, all I have to say is uh, I want to, you know, thanks the Marines and the Airmen and everything for their service over there. And, um, you know, come on home. Sorry you're not going to be home by Christmas, but uh, you'll be home for next Christmas, I hope. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I, I just um, don't see the purpose in keeping them there. So totally with Trump on it. If there's something I'm missing, let me know. But um, I just don't see leaving our boys in the middle of that clusterfuck for no particular reason. If Lindsey Graham and all these rhinos and all these Democrats really want to be over there fighting, and it's funny to see Democrats who were all, you know, totally against being, you know, and everything, and then now they're, oh, there you go. This is so unbelievable. Um, but if all these guys really want to go fight the Russians in Syria, then give them guns and parachutes and some MREs and send them. I don't think anybody objects, right? Any of you guys object if a bunch of politicians want to take some of our hardware and go over there and fight the Russians? So anyway, if somebody understands what any other possible endgame is, let me know because I don't get, I don't get it.